world owes you nothing, so go get it. One of the really hard things about life is that whenever you're trying to do something hard and you work hard towards that thing and you fail, it feels bad. No one likes to fail, right? If you're trying to do something and you fail, well, that's not good. You would rather have success. But sometimes people feel extra bad when they fail. They feel extra bad because they feel like they deserve success when they work hard. Right? You put in the work, why shouldn't you succeed? Well, life is not fair. There used to be this television show. It was called Law and Order. It was the Criminal Intent series. And there was an episode where someone said something to the lead detective. He says, but I worked so hard and I just didn't get the results I want. And the detective looks at the criminal and says, welcome to the human race. Welcome to the human race. Life is hard, right? It's hard. And most people work really, really hard. And most people are good and they do the best they can. So when you work hard and you fail, don't feel bad because you feel like you deserved it. Be ready for the failure. When you fail, just say, hey, no big deal. I'm going to get back up again and do it again. Do not let failure kick you down. You know, learn from your mistakes. Don't keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Use, use failure as a guide, right? Use your past as a guide. Use your experiences as a guide. Plan for the future, but take action now and go get it because the world owes you nothing, my friend. It's dark, but there is hope. The hope is that you're in control, right? You have all the power in your hands. You can change everything after you close this video. You can change everything. You can make the decision to take action. And that's what's going to change things for you, right? Think about it. Let's just say that you're trying to get better at physics. I'm picking something generic. And that means you have to study physics. So you're probably agonizing about it. Or maybe you have. Maybe you took a test and you failed. Let's just pretend. And so you somehow have to get better. So you go on the internet, you look for advice. That's good. You have a plan now. But what's missing? Action. You have to take action. You have to do physics to learn physics. There's no way around it. There's this old expression. I think it's, there's no royal road to geometry, or maybe it's mathematics. Basically, it's saying that you have to work really hard, which makes sense. Math is so tough. So is physics. So are a lot of other things in life. So when you're encountered with that failure, don't feel like you deserve success because that's not a good way to be. It's not a good feeling because you don't deserve it, right? You just have to work harder, try something new, not give up, keep grinding. Don't let failure hold you back. What do you think about failure? Do you think that failure is an indispensable part of success? I certainly think it is. If you think about it, if you're trying to accomplish something, well, usually that something's going to take several steps. And so you're going to fail many, many times, right? So failure is necessary in order to reach your goals. You have to fail. If you don't fail, then, I mean, what are you, superhero? <laughs> Everyone fails, right? Everyone fails. Anyways, I hope this video has been helpful to you. Subscribe, like, share, all that stuff. I have courses. They're on mathematics. They're on Udemy, which is a reputable place to have courses. But if you purchase them, please use the links from the description of this video or from my website, freemathvids.com. The key takeaway from this video should be that life is hard, 
the world owes you nothing. Failure is part of it. And the only thing you can do to change your life and make it better or improve at whatever it is you're trying to do is take action. So go take action right now. Stay strong.